Big news from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency today. The agency designated two common forever chemicals as hazardous substances. And an expert tells me this is a critical step to protect your health. PFOA and PFAS are the most widely used PFAS. The EPA just listed both as hazardous substances under the federal toxic waste cleanup law called Superfund. We call them forever chemicals for a reason, which is that they stay in the environment and in our bodies. They don't tend to break down. The new action will let the EPA address contaminated sites and speed up cleaning efforts. And most importantly, hold polluters accountable by forcing them to pay for cleanups. It'll also require them to report any leaks or spills of the two chemicals. Stephanie Wine, a clean water and conservation advocate with Penn Environment Research and Policy Center, has been fighting for this. So this is a huge step forward uh, for Pennsylvania, especially because here in the Commonwealth, we've been dealing with this for years. Um, we were sort of the canary in the coal mine for how widespread and how serious the problem of PFAS is. And so this is a really good day and a long time coming. According to the EPA, PFAS have contaminated 180 Superfund sites. 16 are in Pennsylvania. The biggest one in PA is the Willow Grove Naval Air and Air Reserve Station in Montgomery County. The two forever chemicals in question can be found in nonstick products like cooking pans, food wrappers, waterproof clothes, and also firefighting foam. Which is how they often wind up polluting big areas near military bases or firefighting training centers. The new rule comes on the heels of the EPA issuing a regulation to turn off the tap of certain PFAS in drinking water. Pet Environment's next mission, phasing forever chemicals out entirely. While those things are in the works, getting the ball rolling on cleaning up the waste that's already out in the environment is a huge step forward.